Welcome back to another episode of Boys Love Exchange 3. We're just two gays that love straight love people. Straight drama. Straight drag. Three and a half Three hours. Three and a half hours of the show this weekend. I will never. Also, for- we have asked multiple times for people to explain the Korean broadcasting system. And still no one. And like times and like how the show. Yeah. Like. There's no consistency, like an American show. Your show, if it's a half hour sitcom, it is 22 minutes long. Mm. Truly what I don't understand is, yeah, you're showing this live on TV. That's the, really the part that I don't get. And there's no places for commercial breaks. I don't understand how television works. Oh, yeah. Our television is funded like through advertisements, basically, or like network television, yeah. I should say. And like basic cable. But here's the thing, because of so much product placement, is that why there's no commercials or they're not big blocks of commercials? Is it like what's in prime time? It's a lot of product placement on prime time shows, so you do get less commercials. But in like when it's the news or like daytime TV. There's no I mean? product placement, but it's it's not that it's there has been one really big pro well that's not true there's been a couple there was one really big one that we americans would know there's been a couple like the the banana 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 cafe yeah was that one i think the cafes but i also think like the beers and stuff but most of the cafes are not like big enough for them to have like chains paid you know what i mean yeah but maybe it's a lot will anyone ever answer answer this question maybe not no they're like girl who cares? Who cares? Get to the damn show. If you want Boys Love to be on Korean TV. And why we would you? <laughs> <laughs> we have watched episodes 12 and 13 this week. Also, there's allegedly 16 episodes in the season, but yeah. I truly do not understand how that is possible. Because there's still like a week, a full week left. I think it's 20 episodes. I think it's 20. I think it's 20. They have a full week left in Jeju. They, I think they can't 20. show a full week. I don't know week where in- the 16 came from. I think it was just because it was on my drama list of 16. Yeah, I think so too. But maybe maybe it's 16 weeks, but because there are double episodes. Oh. I think that's what it is. 16, maybe. 17, 18, 19. So then there's one more double one more episode double. week. I think that's what it is. And brilliant. The finale is going to be like three hours long. Absolutely. Here are the topics that we are going to cover today. It is funny that this is the only show where I do this. Here are the topics we are going to cover today. We are going to cover the traveling itinerary for Changjin and Dahye, for Juwan and Yu Jung, for Dongjin and Hye Wan, and, and then the, the other four go as a little the group, group. The group hang. The group hang. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about the ex reveals. We're going to talk about the new exes. And then we're going to talk about mess. They literally had to stop the episode and was like, the next episode is just later that night. Literally. Literally, episode 13 is just an hour and a half of what happened after the ex reveals. Yeah. Because there's so much going on. And texting. Sorry, I didn't. We're going to talk about texting. Let's start with the traveling. So, um, <laughs> let's start with Changjin and Daihye. I like this couple. I agree with the panel. I don't think there's like it's crazy not sparks, sparks, but they both feel like adult. It feels like adult yeah, chemistry. Yeah. But I like them together, I do and too. I like, I like both of them individually, and I appreciate what they're bringing to the show attached to their exes but i think it's more like emotional attachment that like they can't let go of everything they've gone through it's the thing of like letting go versus keeping what you're keeping and then moving on it's letting go versus moving on well and i think they in their ex stories i think they have some guilt about their relationship absolutely whether deserved or undeserved yes they carry a lot of the they guilt. think that i think they perceive that they were the ones who maybe messed up in the relationship to some degree or something yeah, like that. yeah. not that i think dahe is right in thinking that but she's the one that quote-unquote burdens the relationship yeah yeah, yeah. changjin changjin i think because of the time period it just 
Because he was going through that personal change in his life at yes. the same time the relationship was being tested. Right. That didn't help. But they go on their little flight together. That's fun. It's nice. They were sitting very close together. Okay. Let's talk about Juwan. Very and close together. <laughs> Let's talk about Juwan and Yujung. Great. I mean, truly they nothing are to like, report. They're they are, set. There's They're nothing to report. To the end. They're like having cute Instagram dates. They're like walking in these fields. They're hugging trees. Where like, were they? It's just... They feel like they already won the show. The panel's already like, why don't you guys just end the show? Just leave the show now together. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not... It's not it's not I I've made like a joke I think in the past about them feeling like Jun Sungo in that it's just like okay you're set but it's not like that right yeah. they're still like they're still very different um in like energy but they their sense of humor is so similar that's why I think they like get along really well yeah and she is so she's the cool I mean if <sighs> she's like who I would want as like an older sister yeah yeah she's so. I don't think she's settled so, is the right word, but she's so sure of the things that she likes and the things that she wants, which I think is the best way going into the show. You have to be so strong of like, this is what I'm here for, or right. this is what I believe in myself and what I want. Because honestly, because she, it's really she hard. Came into the show, she came into the show the way Hyewon did, where mm -hmm. they both were like, I'm not going back with my ex. She came in with a similar energy as Hyewon, where they yeah. both were like, I'm not getting back with my ex. But Hyewon has been, I mean, we'll talk about Hyewon, girl. We will talk about Hyewon. But y I think Yu Jung, even when she had her moment where he came back onto the show and she was like, I'm finally reckoning with him being here. It was never about like, am I oh, swayed? am I confused now? Right. Am I swayed? It's just like, I mean, she went into hard. that X room and her response was like, I was right for making the decision I made. I don't want to go back to this. I don't want to go back to that. Even though, and like, not in a way where she's unappreciative of the time that they shared together, but she was like, I just, I don't want to do that again. I don't want to do this anymore. And I don't think. And then we find out more about when they have that conversation that ended the last episode, last mm -hmm. week's episode, where it was like a lot more. They were both basically like, yeah, just go, go date. Yeah. Like, let's just do, let's just support each other. I think Chung Jin definitely still harbors feelings for her, for sure. Um, which is totally understandable. Totally she's understandable. so cool. She is very cool. And... And she's just like really, she's not cocky, but she's just like very confident sure in herself. who, who yeah. she is as a person and what her interests are and what her values are. And she's not condescending to anyone on the show. She's never been negative. Even when she she's was very like, playful and too, and like, this this sucks, right? Like she's, yes. and I think that's the attitude you have to get. She's like a really good meta understanding of like the show as well mm -hmm. which i think is very helpful mm -hmm. which is weird too because she wasn't the one who asked to be on the show it's so weird but she was the one who got all the x's right so well except for the ones that no except one, the, no one knew right. because they didn't realize there were still two people missing um so let's talk about dong jin and kwan <sighs> This is this is they so are, cute. They are healing each other. That's I, the I vibe hope that that's I get. right. I really hope that. I mean, that's how it. That's what I see. That's what I see in their interactions, and then later I'm he, like, "Where's yes. the healing?" Uh, no, I think it. I think with Hyewon, I think he. She just really. There. That's mm -hmm. a whole separate topic. Mm -hmm. I don't think what she experiences with Dongjin is any less genuine of like how she feels. Mm -hmm. I, I love watching them together. She like is playfully teasing him for being so old and aloof, but mm -hmm. he like doesn't. He thinks it's funny. Like he's like he has a sense of humor about it. He has a sense of humor about it. He's really he because he loves how much she laughs. Yes. She, he's like She's I, a very easy laugher. Yeah. And it makes her him feel good. She is she is well, she's a different person when she's with him. Yes. And yeah. Than with other people specifically. Her ex. But yeah. yeah. But I think he has no riz like whatsoever. He has literally no 
everything is so cliche so earnest and so corny yeah but it's so endearing because you can he really it's, means it's it. Doing, yes it's not like he's doing a bit he he's really re- he really is and i we've made jokes that he's like very simple but he he seems very like just like first thought and that's not for everybody right yeah i don't know if i could like be in a relationship with a person like that but that's a compliment to you by the way because I'm so cerebral. You're so brainy. Gaga. 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 But like when she was like, oh, the the weather is so beautiful outside today. I want to like, t- I wish I could etch it in my memory. I wish I etch in my memory. And, and he he's was like, like, how the wow, fuck did that wow, sound? Like, like, oh my God, was just poetry like listening to a movie. Oh my God. But he wasn't even like, being sarcastic, he making a like, joke. He was, he was like genuinely really amazed. impressed by that. I know, genuinely awestruck that people can just like think and say stuff like that. And she is like, she's uh, charmed by she's it. She's so charmed by it. Yes. And I am too. Yeah, totally. She is giving him like the, the reassurance that like he is, she likes him for who he is. Mm-hmm. And he is very complimentary to her like you're pretty it's very sweet they're very cute together i really i did not expect to like them as a couple but i really have grown i've grown to really like that dynamic a lot it's just i out of all of them right now i'm rooting for them because they feel so in their heads in their with their ex that i just want them to like i don't Dunk. <sighs> I think in the next preview, I think because in the preview for next episode, he's like mad that like it's we're n- this is a RuPaul's best friend. Ra- this isn't X's get back together race. Yes, this is X's moving on race, and it's like, but why are I think Dongjin? But it doesn't. I have like Dongjin. I really I do, do like Dongjin. I think Dongjin wishes he had been on Singles Inferno instead. Do you know what I mean? I think that he wishes, like, I think he wishes that he could have this experience without her. A hundred percent. But like, but you, you can, were the you one were the who, one who wanted, to, wanted be to be on the exchange. exchange. Yeah. And I think he, you can't have your cake and eat it. Too. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's the it. thing. That's the complicated thing about the show is there's no way to have like a genuinely good experience on the show. There's going to be, that's why it's so good. Yeah. Because, you are guaranteed to have awkward, uncomfortable, not necessarily traumatic, but like you're going to have memories come back up. Even yeah. even with people who the couples who have like K one he we on they have barely had barely anything. had a had a relationship. But those and yet, things, girl, I girl, we're on week <laughs> fucking nine of this shit. Yeah, of them and being they're like still relitigating this candy. The can we're relitigating the text from the first night, girl. The first text. We'll get to Hui and Kim on. Yu Jung and Ju mm-hmm. I just forgot. His hair is wavy. <gasps> That's right. The the perm is gone. He, well, it's like he now it's like a soft perm. It's Girl, that was lightning. Storming. It's storming outside. Story baby. The group hangs. We have Kwang Tae, Seok Young, Hui and Sang Jong. They come all together. They're all they're, they're having a very good time. fun group. Yes. It's the vibes compared to last year's group hang for the trip are so much better. God. They're all there they all are least, people who are interested in other people in this group yeah. of four. Weirdly, it's like a line because it's like Sang Jong likes Huyan, who Huyen likes, likes Sakyung, who, who likes Kwang Tae, maybe. And then that ends there. And then Kwang Tae likes like Yu Jung, but also now maybe in these episodes he's influenced to come back to you know what I mean to his ex, or he's like maybe Yu Jung is a, is more settled than I thought. Yeah, um, but they go out to dinner. They sit. I I will say anytime Jeju's on one of these shows, they have to eat by the water. They have to eat by the water. The and girl, you're selling me. Seafood. Yeah, I'm you're selling going. me. You're yeah. d- the show is doing what it's supposed to be doing, which is selling me on going to Jeju. I'm not gonna lie. When we do the His Man three recaps, we might be doing it from the seaside, bitch. Cause we might come back. <laughs> could you imagine? Could you? Could you if imagine if it comes if out they... right on May? And we, <sighs> there's no way David would would watch it one episode with us. Would he? Would you? Would you, David? Um. 
What if his man three went to Jeju for their trip? For their trip at the very end. So So the grouping is fun. Um Huihan is like having fun and Sung Jung is like, Well damn, bitch, finally. You're right. Because he was so focused on his like midterms, blah 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 blah. That Sung Jung was like, This is the first time I feel like he's here. I think it's a little crazy that they even let him do be it. on the I show know. with how much he had to do. But the the dinner, the hang is cute. <laughs> Damn, you know, Cialis will fix that right up, bitch. Cialis. Sung Jung is the Kim Kardashian meme where it's like, I'm trying so hard to give signals that I'm single. I'm, I'm single. single. <laughs> 100%. She's really trying. She's really trying to hit it off with Huyun, and he is has no... I don't understand. I don't, I don't understand. I don't, I don't understand, understand it. it. Because How she can- is like exactly the type of girl that I if know. I was straight, I would go for. And also from what it sounds like, what you are interested in too. I don't I don't I don't know what his I don't know what his type I mean his type is cute but I think he likes I think she's a lot based on who the ex is I think there are just a lot of I think Huihan specifically who he already feels the type of way that he's the youngest yes. and he feels like I don't kind of like Youngie in, in his main too where it's like yes but with Youngie it was completely endearing yeah here it's like it's giving like a little intimidated that Sang Jung is so not only with her career but also like she's very outward and like not aggressive but she goes for it like yeah. she's going to him and like hey I like you yeah and I think he's intimidated at that because I think she's he like the wants- only girl that's asked a guy out yeah in, I, not in official capacity but I think he wants to be the one that's more. He wants to be the one that's pursuing, which is funny because for Sok Young, he's like blubbering. If he's the one, that, if she's the one that he really likes and he like isn't active at all. I also just, I'm sorry. It just gives they not, have no chemistry. No chemistry. There's even she nothing. says it. She's like, he won't look at me. Right. And even if he does. And eye contact is such a thing for them because when we have a new contestant, the reason he chooses who he chooses is because of the, Shh. this lightning is crap. Can anyone <laughs> see this? No. She, it's because yes, of the because eye Because she makes eye contact. Yes. Yeah, I know. And I think it's because the gap is, it feels the gap is so wide this year. There's like half of them are like in their 30s. But it is, I mean, it's fascinating because the youngest girl feels like one of feels the oldest Feels like the girls. most mature. Yeah. Who's like, I know what I want here. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I think it's just men. Um, I think it's and men. And I think men are the problem. Period. Period. <laughs> in the they get to this resort. Let's quickly. Can we stay here? This is is the, this a place to stay? I, I don't think we can because I think like 24 people have to stay here at a given time. Oh my God. It's incredible. They rented out a full resort, basically. Basically, yeah. It's sandals. It's sandals, bitch. It's sandals Jeju. But it's in the forest. It's not next to the It's beach. in the soup, you could say. It's 17 is in the soup. And... There's like three houses. There's a common house and then three other dorm houses. And all of them are two stories each. Yes. So they have like thousands of feet of square square footage that they can there's like, like a hide hidden, from each other. At. Yes. There's like a hidden like candlelit fucking forest barn wedding ass area yes. where people can like sit and talk. Someone on our discord was like, I wonder if the amount of space is actually going to cause more miscommunication because oh, yeah. You're not, you're able to, you, there's more privacy. Yes. But there's also more chances to like miss well, ships that's, passing in the night. Yes. I think it's more that because last year when they were no, that didn't have this much space. Yeah. It's like, hey, and doing a little touchy touchy with Hyungyu, mm-hmm. everyone is seeing it. And you're like, oh. Yes. And you started feeling a type of way because it's like, everyone saw you were fucking holding hands right. how dare you how dare you harlot <laughs> first of all when they arrive they all come with who they traveled with the and four no one come knew. the four come, the four all come first and no one knew the pairs right and dungeon and hyewon enter huyan is gooped gooped and gagged he was like i didn't i thought for sure i thought for sure she, she was, was gonna yeah 
God. Yujung and Juwon arrive. And then Chang Jin and Dahe okay. arrive. Hmm? And they see the giant projector. It's like, this is it. You're Dong Jin, I don't X. think, was surprised by that because Chang Jin chose her for publicly for his first date. I think it's kind of clear. That I think everyone else funds. was like expected, but it was just, you know, obviously hard to be like, oh. Yeah. Because Dahe and Chang Jin came in like they just came from, everyone arrived like literally like they were a couple. Yes. Everyone was very coupley. Mm hmm. It also feels our, me and RJ have decided that we think there was like a couple days between the last day in Seoul and their Enough to straighten Juwon's hair. That's, I mean, that's really telling. And everyone a- seemed so healthy on the travel. Yes. Everyone was like, this is great. I'm yeah. going to Jeju. I wonder if I've they cleared had. cleared my mind. I think there was more, I bet it was at least three, four days. Maybe it was five to be like, let's clear out any chance of anyone having COVID. I wonder if. <laughs> There was a break so that Huyun could finish his tests. Because he was studying on the last night. Yeah, maybe. They reveal the X's. They reveal <sighs> Huyun and Hyewon. Everyone's gooped and First gagged. First of all, in the reveals, Dong Jin is like, oh, are you with Kwang Tae? Every, every guest was Kwang Tae. He practically guessed that Da Hye was with <laughs> Kwang Tae. Um, everyone was shocked because they did not expect it that's why they were like oh that's why Hyewon has never said where she went to school because mm-hmm. she couldn't say I went to Korea University mm-hmm. because that's where Hyewon yeah, they would figure it out yep Seokyung and Juwon they were like wow you guys are opposites yes and they were like yeah that, that's and people were like, well, sometimes our types aren't who we end up having relationships with. 100%. Yeah. Uh, they did the big reveal they did the of big reveal Dong Jin Dong and Dahe in their 13, 13 years. years. Everyone was screaming. Yeah. yeah. But I think it was, I think it's, I, they were, there was the fear of it will burden the people that like them. So this was the big thing. They were so scared that like, I, revealing this will make Chang Jin and uh, Hyewon not interested in them anymore. Because they, it's so, it's, it's such a huge yeah. thing. But everyone was like more amazed and inspired by it. <laughs> Honestly, it's really, I sh- mean, I would be too. Yeah. We were saying in the reaction that like, they were so complimentary of how, like how, how, how much they had, to give in a relationship yes. like how much love they were yes. able to provide it's a, it's so, a true testament yeah. to like how it's such a great way to think about it how to be a partner how to someone that, for that yeah that's it's very impressive and i i hope and i think they did i think dahe and dong jin felt like felt good about that i think so too. that everyone kind of welcomed it yeah and then they reveal uh, Chang Jin and, Chang Jin and Yu Jung, and and Juwon Juwon was like, "That's my fucking bro." Yeah, bro code. And also, when they showed up, Chang Jin didn't realize that Juwon liked Juwon and Yu Jung were a thing. He thought she was a thing with Kwang Tae. Yeah, they're both stupid. All the men this year are <laughs> All dumb. The, men the are through really line dumb. is the men are dumb. Yeah. Uh, and I, I think the last man might be the only smart one. I have a feeling. Based I have on the a profession. feeling based on the profession and the one interaction we get with him. Well, yeah, I, yeah. So, so everyone is like, okay, well, that I guess we'll see. Kong I guess I wonder who it is. Yeah. And, <laughs> They were like, this is so weird. Why are they slow mowing like, the guy, the, the guy in. entrance? Kwang it's entering. clearly Kwang Tae. And then all of a sudden. A, a bitch, spotlight. Spotlight. And another man enters. This is 27-year-old Sa Min Hyung. Min Hyung. Min Hyung. Adam, what does Min Hyung do? Now, before we reveal. So... He was a childhood speed skater. Mm-hmm. That's I'm assuming where they met. And we the, were Adam and I were both like, "Who the fuck would ever pass on an Olympian? Who could be like, I can't be with an Olympian." <laughs> a surgeon. A surgeon. He's a surgeon. He's in operating rooms. He's sur- a 27 year old surgeon. Crazy, insane. 
Also makes sense that he couldn't be like, yeah, I need three weeks off to do a dating show. A dating show. Um, He's cute. He is very cute. He's very, he appears to be very sweet. We'll talk about that. And Sung Jung. Like bursts into is tears immediately. And I think, and they cut to her talking head and she says it's because she was so while lonely. she was in Seoul, no one ever texted her. No one reached out. No one seemed interested. She didn't know anybody. And like, I think she is very agreeable as a person and she gets along with everybody. Yeah. But there was no interest pointed her way. And I think she was having the problem that I was talking about of being like, would you want to come in and halfway people already through the competition baked, yeah. and people are already like interested in other people? Especially with this group of guys, they feel like they're like kind of like set on who the first ones were. Yeah. Um, I just, it feels so sad because Sang Jong, I think the three dates that she had in Seoul were just oozing with charm. Yes. One hundred. The Ju one and Sang Jong date was so good that I was like, this is clearly a start of something. Nope. No. No. And it's not even like she was like really, you know, like she didn't end up pursuing him at all. No, but it was, yeah. Yeah. Crazy. They played soccer together out in the backyard. Like, it's very interesting. She is so, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with her. Um, so yeah, he's a surgeon. That's really cool. So yeah, he, she basically bursts into tears and she kind of, she says, I just missed him. Yeah. And then a talking head was like, I shouldn't have said that because I don't want people to think that I miss him in that way. Yeah. I missed him in a sense that like, I was so lonely. Yeah. Up until this point. It would be very hard. And I like that she is so emotionally vulnerable. Totally. totally. And it's not, she is not like, um, this lightning, this lightning is going crazy. And she's, it's not like she's, weak uh, or right. it's not show it doesn't show that like she's frail or anything like right that. she's still like herself but mm-hmm. she's just like experiencing the feelings she's feeling and like letting us see them yeah. and it's very like open and honest and yeah i think it's it's totally understandable why she gets embarrassed and feels like she needs to apologize to people later for her reaction although i under- i don't think she needs to i don't but think I understand she, why she to, feels that yes. way but she is just i just think she's like the most one of the most interesting girls on the show and i wish like everyone was as, in as love with interested her in her as, as we I are am. so then they do uh kwang mm-hmm. they do his little package and you see and adam and i spotlight. were like it's gonna be who's it gonna be uh, a we glamazon. were gonna be, yeah a glamazon she isn't a gl- she's not a okay she's not a national powerball player or like handball player that like i said powerball powerball she yeah. loves the she lottery loves the lottery bitch <laughs> she is scratching those off She's scratching them tickets girl <laughs> happy saint patrick's day <laughs> i got three palm trees bitch <laughs> powerball player <laughs> what sport do you play powerball um, <laughs> powerball powerball no she is a 30 year old a uh, pediatric doctor. She's in peds. She's a she's general practitioner of pediatrics. Yes. So sometimes she's like, well, you know, I'll, I'll help the kids out today or something. Yeah, yeah. But we were literally like, we were truly like, I mean, there's no what what could this girl be? Because right, the only on, the only thing we really know about her is that she never said I that love she never you. said I love you. And you know what? After I met her, I was like, well, I understand. I kind of get it. I get it. Now, I don't... I'm going to ask a question about this, Mm -hmm. because we get kind of their whole story. Yeah. Um, Which is not terribly interesting. It was like a six-month relationship a couple years ago. It was quick, and I think he was just really down bad for her, and she just did not... Do you? She was on the same level. There was some discourse that I saw. Do you think... Would you describe him... Love bombing? Love bombing her? No, I would describe it as a a younger guy falling in love with an older, more set. like set woman mm-hmm. and being like, This you are amazing and I want to like I wish I yeah, I just I think it's that I don't think it's love bombing. It didn't feel like love bombing, because love bombing is usually like 
day two. Love bombing. I love you. Love bombing, and I bought you a car. Love bombing implies that like he want he is nefarious. Is nefarious. He wants something back. He wants to you know what's his name from ugh, the oh, serial dater that yeah, was on yeah, TikTok. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That I don't get that from him because he wouldn't have stuck around for six months. I will say. These two episodes are like the most I've ever liked Quang. I know, Isn't right? That wild. I know. I was thinking the same thing because he just completely changes. He becomes so vulnerable. Yes. That I genuinely, th- I genuinely think he thought that she was the love of his life. I and think that's really sad. I, I mean, that sucks because she was. And it would be very hard to be like, "I love you," and not and and, she, and, and she'd be like, "Thank you." <laughs> I love me too. Yeah. Thank you. And I enjoy spending time with you. And I'm quite fond of you as well. (laughs) You're fond of me? (laughs) Yeah. I just, I think. I think it sucks that he tried to force her to say it, right? Because that there's. But that shows the, the, the room for growth. Totally. And I think kind of for both of them. Because there's like. It can take as long as it needs to take. Yes. I I question why six months into a relationship, you're not even near the point where you yeah. could like think about think saying about it. it. Yes. But she also does explain like that she had, it had started to become like a burden that he kept saying, I love you. Yes. And she was like, I know he wanted it back. So then I didn't want to say it. Want, yeah. Because what if I don't feel the same way? And she said, if I said it, it seals me in. Right. It locks it in. Yeah. That now we have to, but that's also like, I mean that's that's, that's commitment that's, issues, yeah, to some degree. Yeah, I'm not. We've just met this girl. So, I, b- by the way, her name is E oh. Jongun. She's 30 years old. I, I did not her say her name. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. E Jongun. E Jongun. E Jongun. Like I just feel like doctors yes. live in a different world from the totally. rest of us. We're all regular, regular people, yeah. and they're like solving problems There's, yes it's like if i have i've i'm trying to save people's lives right and i it's not even like a elitist way of thinking but it's just more like i see day to day people just trying to live they just need my health just so they can like yeah. wake up in the morning sometimes it's trivial of like i don't want to do this or i don't think it's that big of like for her she's probably like i don't think it's a big of a deal yeah you know Mm-hmm. But for him, it's like he was still in school at the time. Like, I think he that had no job. He had no job. Yeah, he was just like doing I personal think he had training. Just gotten out of school or or the or army the or something. Or something he like was that. basically saying like, yeah, at the time I was just like going to the gym. That's all I did, and it did feel like a summer fling. Because that's how they, I think that's how they described it. Yeah. Like, it felt like a fling that I or a, a summer romance that I wanted to keep going, but it just couldn't couldn't he she does feel very cool calm person she's the same mbti as him which is interesting because they do not seem like similar energy at all we just met her so maybe she'll come out of her shell maybe it's but even with just like the small interactions that she's had she's been very open about like asking questions she's like is kwangte like being a host here too like she's kind of making these comments that like she's trying to quickly get Yes. comfortable with everyone so they both get to choose the new contestants they both get to choose who their date is immediately, immediately. this happened there's last not year even too. there's not even like changjin where he got to he Talk got a little bit everyone. of time yeah, yeah. so min hyung chooses sok young because she made a bunch of eye contact with mm-hmm. him and sung jong is in a talking head like i knew who's gonna pick her yep and then chongun chose dong jin dong jin and we don't know why. We don't know why. I think just like from like her taste. She just said like, yeah, the men she was most interested in would either be Dong Jin or, or Chang, Chang Jin. So, hey, look yeah. out, girl. Let's move to episode 13. <laughs> they split up into their houses. The brown house is Kwang Tae Hui and So Kyung Sang Jung. Purple house is Chang Jin, Ju Won, Da Hye, Chong Un. Mm-hmm. And then greenhouse is Dongjin, Minhyung, uh, Hyewon, and Yu Jung. Mm. I also just write their initials. Oh, so thank God no one has like the same. I know that's what I get nervous about every time somebody new comes in. I'm like, please, please God, please, have please. a different name, please. 
Uh, there is a little bit of tension with Juwan and Changjin. Now that they know the now truth. Now that they know the truth. That they were probably the closest to on the show. Yeah. Especially guy-wise. Yes. And they keep bringing up, like, we've shared our girl, like, our troubles with one another and confided with one another. Yeah. And they show little tidbits, like, throughout the episode of, like, Juwan was like, I thought you were with Hyewon because the the night, that, the candy night was the same night Changjin arrived. Yes. So he was like, oh, I think I just, I want to help Hyewon and Changjin so they can have time to talk. And he like goes to the bathroom really long one yeah. time so that they could talk. And even Hyewon and Changjin were like, we just talked about like Philadelphia. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> oh, did you study? Oh, did you study there? Oh, study cool. English? Nice. Cool. cool. <laughs> Juwan like didn't come, but Ju- he said in his talking head, he was like, "Oh, I was like congratulating myself. Like you're doing such a good. You're thing getting them tonight. back together because you're like helping them like make amends." Yeah. Um. There's a cigarette. There's an electronic cigarette. There's an electronic cigarette. That's a whole. That's a whole thing. I don't really care about any of it. There's only two things I really want to talk about besides the texts. I want to talk about Sangjong, and I want to talk about. The Hui and Hui K1 and K1 of it all. I cannot believe we are still litigating. <laughs> I just them. I can't. We will end with them. Let's talk about the text. Kwang Tae gets a text from Chong Eun, and she's like, Hi, it's good to see you. And then Sok Young. Who do you want to date? Sok Young, who do you want to date? I don't need you to make a decision now, but I need you to like stop circling the block. Focus. We need to hone in. And if you're not interested in someone, you're don't text them. You're not interested in Huyan. So Stop let it, just him tell him. Just, just leave tell him. Because it's him. it's not gonna end well for either party. I don't yeah. I'm not even i I'm not even like Huyan should be op- I think Huyan should be open to Song Jong. I think it's crazy that he's not. Mm-hmm. And I think probably it is partly because he thinks like he could win Sel Kyung over. He's not going to win her over. He's not going to win her over. What? Cut to me three weeks from now being like, well, he won her over. <laughs> <laughs> well, we had in Suk Young are now a couple. Uh, Song Jung gets a text from Min Hyung. This text from Min Hyung is like... A, a, a speech. Song Jung, are you okay? I hope you're doing well. You look Please so don't cry great. While you're Please here. don't cry. We'll talk about that. And then the other thing too, besides the text... They are also receiving information as to who the texter is. They are getting official. Names. This is from blah, 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 blah. And also, if their ex did not text them, they It'll know say. who their ex did text. And they're all like dominoes, like, oh, so this is how it's going. Yeah. Yu Jung gets a text from Kwang Tae and Juwan. Kwang Tae is like, I wish we had come together. Juwan is like, I, we had a great day. Time Sh- flew by. Time flew by. They're they're done. They're set. I'm not. I don't even want to talk about them anymore. Chong Eun does not get a text. Sok Young gets a text from Hui Eun. Dong Jin gets a text from Kye Won. Great. Uh, da Hye gets a text from Dong Jin or Chang Jin. Sorry, Chang Jin. Hui Eun gets a text from uh, Sang Jong. Mm-hmm. Min Hyung gets a text from nobody. Juwan gets a text from Yu Jung, and Chang Jin gets a text from Dahye. Um, here's the thing. I feel like, and they sh- they don't have to do this. To be clear, this is not what I'm saying. If I was in Sang Jung or Kwang Tae's place, I would have texted my ex, and I. I think there's a way to make it clear that that is not like I'm just checking I'm, in on you. I'm so ha- I'm. It's good that you're have here. Have a good time. Good luck on this. It's good a luck lot. On the show. You know yeah. whatever. What? However, this you is going to be a lot. It, so just keep your head. It up. would feel so shitty to be so there shitty. on the first day and, and no, no one texts, texts you, you. A- even including the two people who know the one person who knows you. I know. It sucks because I don't think s- this is kind of this is a little bit. I know this is not the point of the show. Yeah. But I do wish they would let them text within their own gender too. I know. Sometimes I think it would be nice for them to To be like, I don't want to text anyone. Yeah. 
Do you know I, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I think I have a feeling that Sang Jong does not want to end up back with her ex. Mm. I think. I think that's true. I think Kwang Tae. Kwang Tae is way too hurt by what happened. Is way too hurt, Still. but I don't know if he is fully over. Her. I don't think there's. A, I don't. I don't think he would be able to be yet. I'm sure he has not dealt with that. Yeah, but I understand. I mean, that's. It would be very hard to. It would be very hard, and I think especially I mean, it's the first for time some, he cried. It's the first time he cried. He like teared up when he. No, she he arrived. cried. He cried when he read the. Oh, the letter. When that's he right. read the letter, Kwang Tae is a very, I think, naturally charming person. I think he's very like fun, and people get along with him. It seems like he has a really good energy people mm-hmm. like to be around. We were all very charmed by when he asked Dahye out for that one run at the very mm-hmm. beginning of the show. Of course, granted, during the show, he's done a little bit of the Sok Young circling the block thing, which has been a little annoying. And like, but I, I think, think he because, needs to get off the Yujung train real quick. Yeah, it's not going to go But I, I genuinely think it was because he knew that she was coming, that John was coming. Right. That being said, I can understand why someone who is normally very liked would it fi- take it extra personally that your partner cannot say they love you. I know. It would be it would be it would probably break me. Yeah. So I understand it would be very I really hard. I know. Unfortunately, I like I think it's right that they should have split up. Like split that's, up. A, totally. that's a it's, that's a legitimate it's a, it's a burden to reason. overcome for yeah. sure. But I understand why it would be yeah. It sucks. It sucks for both. But of again, them. not in a way of like one person is right. Or one person did the correct. You know what I yeah. mean? That's yep. not the point of relationships. You're just trying to match. You're just trying to find someone yeah. that matches. It's just the matching pairs game. That's all it is. Um, Let's go back to matchmaking. And now say that. Yeah. Dolly Levi Gallagher. Um, just leave everything to me. That's my that's my micro impression of Barbara. No oh. words, but just like the tone. Just and singing on a vowel. I was singing on a consonant. Yeah. Nah. Mm, she sings like an N vowel yes. or N consonant. And when your man is gone, your world just falls <laughs> apart. <laughs> Min Hyung and Sang Jung have a talk. Min Hyung is like looking for her. Searching, searching, and when she fi- when he finds her, they have this very sweet talk. I am, I actually I am very know. quickly charmed by Min Young. He's very sweet to her, but then when they go and talk outside, it's a little bit more matter of fact. It's very blunt, but it also makes sense because she's so blunt. She's so blunt, yeah, and you can tell like, oh, this is just how they talk. So here's the here's the suspicion oh. that some people have. Oh. He is a childhood speed skater. I think people think they are childhood sweethearts. <gasps> and they may like have been broken up for a while. Oh, like they were high school sweethearts or something yes. like that. Yeah. Oh my God. And this is the it first time. It would make time- so much sense. If they've known each other since they were very, very young, young together. Because there is a very friend quality yes. to the way they talk and to the each other. And the fact that Sang Jung was like, I really thought I was going to marry him. It is the complete opposite way that Hui An and Kye Wan talk to each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah, where yeah. they're still kind of. Hui they're and dancing Kye-wan around each other. They're not telling the truth. Because they don't still know each other. You yeah. dated for four months. You haven't spoken for like two years. You do not you know, each know each other. Each other. Stop. Stop. These two talk like like he's he's talking. First of all, he's the only person on the show of all the exes that has gone up to seen his ex be upset or cry, gone to them later to be like, "Are you, Are you okay? okay? What's Was going okay? on?" And of course, he's just here, so I think he like thinks whatever. But like, how has it been? So that says so much. Yeah, and it's easier now. They all know each other. They all right. know everybody's pairs they don't have to keep the secret anymore which i think does like weigh on them and they don't want to like get kicked off the show because they spilled spilled the secret or whatever but at the same time i think it's very shocking that he is the only one who's gone out of his way to be like dong jin has never once gone to be like how are you doing he knows and sees that she's been crying all the time correct 
And it was really at the beginning of the show, but yes. I know. That's why even if they're... The, I'm not even. I'm not saying like Dong Jin is a bad person. I just think like I think it's very telling of who he who is he and is what their relationship, and what their relationship was. Is. Totally. I, that's why I, I think that he is, is literally true. talking to her in like his voice changes a hundred percent. And then when they go outside and they talk, there is a little bit of like, oh, I can see why there was some friction there, but they talk to each other more like friends talk to each other when they're like, you need to do like, you need to do this. What are you get doing? Get it together. Yeah. It's a little that. You're right. Maybe and it, it is. Just, it was not, it did not feel cold. Yeah. I don't speak Korean. Okay. I don't speak Korean. But, but I can hear tone. Su- I can hear tone. Yeah. And the subtitles. Cause he's like, wow, this, this is crazy or whatever. Yeah. Like he. <sighs> yeah. But I'm so I want to know more. I need to know. And their I full do story. wonder because they're saving it for last. It has I th- to be something it must big. Be, it must or be something like, juicy. Yeah. It must be childhood. It has to be. It has to be. That's they the were only like, thing I feel like we knew each other like, since we were like eight years old training. Yeah. You know? Yes. Something like that for sure. Yeah. We've known each other since we were like 10. Yeah. Yeah. At a, at a speed skating camp. camp. <laughs> so cute. Um, but in general, Sung Jung talks to Sok Young. She talks to Hui Yun. She does a lot of talking. She does a lot of talking to make sure that like... We don't get the clip of her from the preview where she cries on the ground Yeah, so outside I don't know when the fuck sa- that's happening. Is that I wonder, next episode? I wonder... I think that preview was like a preview for all of Jeju. Now that oh. I'm thinking about it. Because they didn't show the Dahye Dongjin fight too. That's right. Or stern conversation yeah. that they have. Yeah. Um, but I do think that Sung Jung was trying to cover up her accidentally saying I miss him when she like cried when he saw him. Obviously to Hui Hyun to be like, I'm making it very clear that I'm interested in you. So don't, because he was like, she was like, I don't want you to think like I'm a girl that's still hung up on my ex. No, I, yeah, no. And then to Sok Young, who's going to go on a date with Min Hyun. And I was like, I don't want you to think that I want you to still have a good time with him because it's not, I'm not. Right. I had to explain my emotions. Yeah. I don't want you to take that. She's just, she's so. I know. Uh, I really love her. I really, I'm, I'm in love with Song Jung. I love, I really love Song Jung and I'm obsessed with, with um, Yu Jung. Yeah. And Dahe is my, my bestie. Dahe is my bestie. Hyewon and Sok Young, they're a little messy. They're but, a little mess. Okay. okay. Here, all, right. all right. Let's get to the meat and potatoes. This is the only thing the girls have been waiting for us to talk about. We have to talk about Huyan and Huyan. <sighs> Whose side are, they are you the on? I main character. <sighs> unfortunately, I am on Huyan's side. Not that I'm saying unfortunately, but I am going to be on Huyan's side just because I want her to get past him and realize that there is nothing there for her Mm -hmm. with this specific fight this night i am on hui on side because she keeps coming back she she's so wishy-washy about it she oh my god i'm rooting for hyewon to come with the realization i'm rooting for hyewon to just like stop talking to hyewon but i wonder if like i can't even believe that this episode ends and he goes Maybe, Maybe I'll you, go on a date with you. If we go on a date, I'm sure I'll, I'll, figure fig- it out. I'll figure it out. You do not need to be together. You don't need to be together. This is bad news bears. Yeah. This isn't getting better. You guys are two <sighs> different people. I don't even... I think they have a little bit of chemistry, I will say that. Because even in their small interactions from like the first half of the show when they would like... She would like sit next to him while he was like studying or whatever. Yeah. Those were all very cute. Before it got like... Before the candy situation... I thought the trajectory was fine. It is it is bad. They do not talk t- like pointedly. They like talk around each discussion because he is so worried that he's going to set her off. So he won't give her the answer that she wants to hear, but she keeps pressuring him to just like give a decision, but what she really wants to hear is I'm I, not getting I'm back. Not getting, I don't want. I'm not I don't want entertaining this anymore. I don't. I'm not interested in getting back with you. But then it's unfair to be like, 
that hurt my heart when you said that you were interested in Sok Young. When, girl, you were the one who came in and you're asking me and we're like, I know you like Sok Young, so just tell me you like her. Okay, I like Sok Young. And that hurts my heart to hear yeah. that. You don't I get mean, to do that, girl. I know. And I, I do think, like, even though they, they dance around with it, Kwang had to get involved just to have them fucking talk. She does realize that later of, like, totally. I should not have said that. But the overarching realization needs to be we need to stop speaking we to each other. To, yeah. Because it's not... Leave it's each not, other alone. Leave each other alone. There please. is nothing there for you that is... Go- you, could you imagine the show ends, they get back together, they watch this program and are like, what the fuck are we doing? What was this? Yeah. This is it, like embarrassing. Feel more on her side if it didn't feel like the minute she starts talking to him, she changes into a different person. I know. She to is the so point that the sulky panelists and like, even see it. They're like, oh, she's fully like on defense mode all of a sudden yes. when she's talking to him. And like, I am not absolving Huyen of like all the dumb shit that he's done. And I do think he's a ding dong, but he can be a ding dong and also like not deserve to kind of like the animosity that she's just like throwing, throwing at him yeah. because she's like, because he is like, because he he's say- a ding dong girl, just accept he's a ding dong and move on. You have to move on. Which is so funny because he... Only you can she, change your perspective. He's not going to change. She already said it. She was like, he's not going to change. He already... She, so then, girl, he, who who is the other person in this relationship that has the ability to do the changing? Yeah. You. So whose responsibility is it to do that if you want to end this in a healthy way? You. <sighs> I know. I hate to not be on a woman's side. Do you understand how hard this I is for me? I think it's really hard too because we see how I think when she is with Dong Jin, that's who that feels like Kim. That's who she is. Yes. I think she turns I, I into I do think this part this is a part of her as well, but I think this was yes. pulled out because of their past. Because and of their past, it like reverts her back to I think a place that she resents. Yeah. And also <sighs> he ended the relationship by being like, I don't love late like he kind of basically did the same thing that Tongan did by being like, I don't love you. I don't you. love you, yeah. And it was a very different set of circumstances. But, uh, and I I think okay. she's not forgotten that or let it go. And I, I don't think you have to, to be very clear. Yeah. I think it's perfectly understandable to hold that in your heart and be like, that was a horrible thing you did to me. I would not then try to then still possibly get back together with that because person. i know that it was you a again i feel like i'm talking about only friends all over again you cannot do the thing that mew was doing in only friends and be like i'm holding the past against you but also want you to do better but i'm not gonna trust that you actually know how to do better yes you can't do both of those things at the same time it's not a relationship. and it sucks because you want to guard your heart and not be vulnerable but the only way to have real connections is if you have if you vulnerability have vulnerability so if you feel like you're guarding yourself in order to get back into this relationship then you should then get you back, should not get back, back in this relationship you're not even it's not even like a dumb thing of like we've broken up and now we're like gonna try to do the like let's be friends thing None of these people have that thing. The only thing they ever say is like, I just want to be able to wish that person I want, happiness. I'm get I just need to get to a place where if I see them walk away with another person, then I won't want to kill myself. Right. Like basically I need to yeah. be okay with it. I need to like have a stable mindset about yeah. it. Totally. We're just work that's, on that. That's it. That's it. That's all we're asking for. That's just just focus on that. Truly, I don't think Leon's gonna end up with anyone. I and don't I think, think oh, I think if this show ended what, right now, he's not, he's walking home alone. He's walking home alone. I, this is crazy. And I don't think, and I think that's why he keeps being like, well, I think, you know, if we go on a date, we'll and see. And that sucks. And that is total, and that's where I am on her side because he is, he's very clearly keeping her in the back pocket. Because for he like, doesn't want to leave Just alone. in case, I don't want to like, I don't want to leave with egg on my face that totally. I didn't end up with anybody. I, that's the vibe. But like... But I want her to see this. She knows that, she though. Knows this that. is the problem she is that knows. Huyen's dumb. Like, we've all accepted he's dumb, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. I understand. Like, he thought she was with Juan. It doesn't even make, this, <laughs> doesn't make I sense. I don't even know. The st- the, the, the. <laughs> okay. That's crazy to me. I We know that Hye Wan is smart. 
We know that I'm watching this girl and I know she is so intelligent that I know that she knows that's that why, he's keeping her in his pocket. That's why she's but, dancing around all of the conversations because she knows where the conversation should she's she's testing him. But like but he's Mama not for what? He doesn't you don't fit and even if it he's was He's not like, gonna fit the he's not gonna fit the mold that he's you want not to. going to pass the test. He's not gonna pass the test. So what are so. we doing? And it's crazy. You would feel, cr- I would feel crazy and in this here's scenario. The thing. Here's the thing. I, I get having to put yourself into all of those gymnastics in your mind. Oh, because folding yourself into a full pretzel, full, full pretzel, because it's like, yes, he's very attractive. He's, he's very so cute. cute. And he's very fun. And I'm sure, sh- and he's totally different from all the other guys yes. there. And I'm sure like you guys but have like, like a great, I would under, I would understand her predicament more if I have not seen her now have two great dates, great dates with, with, Dong with like a catch. Yes. Where if you I had, don't have if to she work. was still like, no one's paying attention to me. No one's asking me out on dates. Da 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 da. Then I would, then fully I would be, be like, like, it sucks that he is still he's keeping her in the back totally. pocket for this. She, this is my <laughs> frustration. She knows that he's doing it. She is kind of also doing the same thing, which is yeah. what also what's really annoying is like she's still going back to him to be like, well, should I entertain? Like, should we? But she already knows the answer. She she's known the, the answer. answer the whole time. She already knows the answer. She is, I think, genuinely what it really is. I think she's more frustrated that she came in, thought, what was like, I'm not going to get not back, with back him, together. Was swayed by him, and now he's he's the one moving on. And she's like, mm-hmm. this was this not was the point not of the, the show. Point. I was supposed to I come on the show and be, be like, you suck. Yeah. And now she's the one left with like, oh my I God. I know. And like, girl, it sucks. Uh, no one blames you yeah. for coming on no the show and being this. like, no. this whole thing is a crazy experience. <sighs> Huyan, you have to get over that. If I hear this fucking story about this first text again, I'm going if I, to If rip- I see the words pre-meeting interview come out of his mouth one more time. I don't care. I don't, I don't care, care how anymore. cold she was the first it's day because done. guess what? The last conversation you had with her in person was when you told her you didn't love her so that you could break up with her. She is would have been allowed to be like, oh, he's an actual garbage can of a human being. And you would have to take that because you were. <laughs> I can I cannot believe that we are well, first of all there. this microphone is fucking Huyan and Hyewon. I cannot believe from the first episode we are still here. It's crazy Did to me time because not I they pass? are the co- I am genuinely the least interested of the and in they their are story. Taking- and they take oh. so much space in the show. And I think it's dramatically interesting. I am just not interested in them them as a couple. Yeah. And if this show ends and they get back together, <laughs> I swear to God, I will watch the next season. <laughs> I swear to God. But this is how I felt me. during the Hidu na- Hidu na- 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 thing. thing. They got back together and you're like, they should not get back together. But I was like, and they, are fucking- still and they are still together. together. <laughs> fighting ever. I'm sure they're fighting I'm sure every they day. They fight every day. And then God bless them. I'm sure it's great. Oh. I, think- I mean that's I think. I think, I think that's, that's really why. I think that's too. really what's going on. That is not what's that going on. That is not on. what's going here. I don't think Mm-mm. it's that good. No, no, no. Sis. No, I don't think there it's happened. Is no. You don't think it's happened? No. You don't think they have? Nope. <gasps> and that's why you think she's like, I need to, we need, it need I need no, to know. No, I don't think that has anything to do with it. Interesting. Maybe I'm just too gay, because I'm like, maybe, maybe he's good. Oh, well, I mean, what? But I don't know. I mean, may, I, maybe. But maybe well, he just looks like that, and I'm like, he's he's cute. He's very cute. I totally. I get, I get why, why she came she... onto the show and was swayed. Yeah, I totally understand that. The show is set up for you to be to swayed. That. Yeah, that is the point of the show. I just wish that she because it's just she is too intelligent to be making the t- same. You look crazy telling kwang tae to go get him kwang tae gets him he comes out and he goes go back inside i don't know why he got you i didn't tell him to do that you look crazy you look crazy holding your bag holding your damn purse it just it's the most it is the most like 
couple having a fight at a theme park energy you've ever seen in your life. I dated a guy, me and him, and friend friend of mine, friend of this channel, Ari, went to Washington, D.C. We were on the National Mall, walking around, and he and I, he and I were having a fight, and she was like, like wa- she couldn't go off by herself. We were like 18. He was 17. I mean, like truly batshit insane shit. Yeah. This is the energy that yeah. I'm getting. And it's like, who is this? Who is this who even is this for? for? Why are you waking him up at 4 a.m. to go talk about nothing? Dong Jin and Dahye wasted, wasted 13, 13 years, years of, of their, their lives life. with each other. And they are in a not great place, but they're in a much better place than the four month fuckers over here. I cannot with them. Is it because you just it it triggers you? It reminds you so much of like it's just unnecessary. relationships that you've had in the past. It's just unnecessary fighting is so when there's no actual solution to resolve. Yeah, there neither of these people are actually looking to solve the issue because they know that they can't. So we're just going to talk in circles because neither all both of them are too chicken shit to mm-hmm. be like let's just they not don't do this have anymore. To, yeah. They are the ones who should have had the Juwan Sokyung like actual breakup here on the show. The fight, yes. Fully have like, the fight. Yeah. Do the fight. Cause this like mini fight, this like negging each other is they just not need to it. they need to say they need to say what they need to say. Say just say what you need to say. It's just so frustrating. It, the most annoying thing is like she comes in, it's three in the morning he's or whatever. He's gonna wait after the X date. What's worse is that he's gonna wait after the X date. They have the sex date and it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be, it's gonna be it's great not, or whatever. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. And then later that night, he's gonna be like, yeah, sorry, I don't think it's happening. And then she's gonna go in a tizzy and... <sighs> it's just so frustrating. Because I'm like, girl, you already have... He doesn't even have anyone right now. That's why, like that. That's, that's why, why it sucks that he's playing this game I with her. That's why I feel like I'm. I feel like I'm disappoint. Not disappoint. I feel like I'm. <laughs> I'm trying to like talk sense to her. Oh, fully. Because I'm like you just I spent someone an entire day. Like with you know what I need? I need Jonghyun, who's new to the show, to like objective fully, observer to sit Kwon down and be just like, like, "Girl, hey, this what's is going weird. on?" Yes. It's getting, it's giving messy. Because I will say in the last, in the last season when they were at Jeju, mm-hmm. the girls were a little bit more open in talking about. Oh, they've all. Except Jisoo. Because she just, she's hold herself up. Oh. When she, last year. But like. G- the moment Jisoo like yelled at Nyon for giving a side hug to, to Tae. Tae yeah, tea. was like, oh, so, and then she held herself up. And then she was she like, just what like the left fuck? the show. She was like, what am I doing? This is. I just want this to be over. It, truly, she was like just counting the days. She was just crossing off the days yeah. on her calendar. But like last year, there was a sense of like Nyon and Hayen and, and Nyon, mm-hmm. like kind of like girls. Let's think rationally about yes. what we want to do. Yes, let's leave here feeling like we made the right decision. Who does Hyewon even talk to is the question. Like, Hyewon is now rooming with... Yoo Jung. Oh, and I... Yoo Jung's too busy being in love with Juwon to, like, give yeah. any attention to that. Because even with Yoo Because, yeah, even Yoo Jung, when they got the new assignment, she was like, oh, like, she, like, misses Dahe, basically. And Hyewon was like, no, we can talk. That's the thing is, like, so. last year, Nayeon and Hayeon were in were, similar places. Yes. Not necessarily with their relationships, but they were both still hung up on their ex to some degree. Mm-hmm. She is the only... I mean, like... It feels like she's... Dahye is hung up on... Dong, in a different way. In a different way where she's truly... Like, I think she has actually accepted that it's not going to happen. Yes. We'll see what happens next episode, obviously. Yeah. But no one is at the same place with their male counterpart that she is. No. So she's like kind of swimming out on an island alone from all the other girls because they're all kind of just like, okay, I'm just going to find somebody new. That's the point of the show. Which is why I think I, I'm so obsessed with the girls this season because they are so completely mm-hmm. like, 
different energies from last year where so many of the guys are still like, but my my ex, like even Juwan, as much as he's like, you jung, you jung, you jung, there was still like points in this where he was like, I couldn't believe that uh, he chose Seok Young to go on a date with. Yeah. Or that's, that, yeah, seeing Seok Young texting Kwang Tae really set me off or yeah. whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Chang Jin still hung up on you, Jung. Understandable. Understandable. Huyan, I don't know. I don't know. That's the thing is like, I, I don't know if you're actually, I don't know if he's really like, I am still like a little bit interested or he's just like, I hate the quantifying thing he does where he'll be like, well, I'm like 70% interested and they, 30%. A lot of the guys are doing that. And I'm like, what are we do? What is this math? What's going on here? It's not a, you're not calculating love. This isn't the Kinsey no. scale, honey. What are we doing? Yes or no? Yes or no? And also, like, even if it is like, oh, I'm still 30% interested in her, that you are just giving a number to being like, she's in my... She's, she's in your She's my plan B. Because you're not acting like she has some... If genuinely you were like, I think I do still want this is to... What, this is what it really does come back to. It It is, I think, genuinely... I think now, watching this season, after watching His Man 2, after watching His Man 1, after watching Exchange 2... Da, 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 da. Watching Changes 2. Right. Under, yeah, Singles yeah, Inferno, blah, blah. I think it is always more interesting and the audience is always going to root for the person that sets after one person and just like is like, that's the one person I like. Even Kwang Tae, who is like pretty set on Yoo Jung, and it clearly is not going to work out for him. But I still think I'm like, I'm more warm to him being like, I've put all the other girls away. I'm really just set for this Because if you don't want to like be rude and, and because the and other thing is like we all want to believe in this in the idea that it's not like that love is like this like when you see it you see it impartial thing you, yeah it's like it just when like you find happens. it you yeah it, it can't you be like it. oh 30 percent of me wanted to choose kwan and no so one chose me so i chose kwan like i don't want to watch that who wants to watch that this isn't a boardroom meeting. No, this isn't, Mama. This isn't the New York Stock Exchange, honey. This isn't like two two five. Give me one of those GWFs or whatever. <sighs> I clearly know a lot about the New York Stock Exchange. Uh, yeah. You know what I mean? I'm just not on either of their side in regards to this situation. The situation. I am so in the bag for K1 getting with Dong Jin. Absolutely. I am really in the bag for Huyun, like opening his eyes and seeing what a catch Song Jung is. Because, Mama, you are not going to end up with Sok Young. If he was going to end up with Sok Young, they would already be hinting at it. They yes. would be setting the narrative up. If he the narrative up- is setting up right now that she is, he's going to choose her and she's not going and to choose her. And she's not going to choose her. Choose him. So. And it's not even the age thing. It's just, you, there's nothing. And I think it's, I, I, I say this... It's and okay to go for it's someone. It's totally that okay you, to go yeah. for someone and them not choose you. I think yeah. that's also understandable. I just this we on K one thing. We gotta. It's we gotta bad. be done. <laughs> Chopped. The Emperor's.